Fermentation, Wikipedia Audio Fermentation is a metabolic process that consumes sugar in the absence of oxygen. The products are organic acids, gases, or alcohol. It occurs in yeast and bacteria, and also in oxygen-starved muscle cells, as in the case of lactic acid fermentation. The science of fermentation is known as zymology. In microorganisms, fermentation is the primary means of producing ADP by the degradation of organic nutrients anaerobically. Humans have used fermentation to produce drinks and beverages since the Neolithic age. For example, fermentation is used for preservation in a process that produces lactic acid as found in such sour foods as pickled cucumbers, kimchi, and yogurt, as well as for producing alcoholic beverages such as wine and beer. Fermentation occurs within the gastrointestinal tracts of all animals, including humans. Fermentation turns NADH and pyruvate produced in glycolysis into NAD and in an organic product. In the presence of O2, NADH and pyruvate are used to generate ADP in respiration. This is called oxidative phosphorylation, and it generates much more ADP than glycolysis alone. For that reason, fermentation is rarely utilized when oxygen is available. The exception being obligate anaerobes, which cannot tolerate oxygen. Biochemical Overview The first step, emden myrofarnos glycolysis, is common to many fermentation pathways. Pyruvate is CH3-CoCO2. PI is inorganic phosphate. Two ADP molecules and two PI are converted to two ADP and two water molecules via substrate-level phosphorylation. Two molecules of NAD and are also reduced to NADH. Ethanol fermentation, aka alcoholic fermentation, is the production of ethanol and carbon dioxide. Lactic acid fermentation refers to two means of producing lactic acid. In oxidative phosphorylation, the energy for ADP formation is derived from an electrochemical proton gradient generated across the inner mitochondrial membrane via an electron transport chain. Glycolysis has substrate-level phosphorylation. Fermentation simply means the production of alcohol, grains and fruits are fermented to produce beer and wine. If a food soured, one might say it was off or fermented. Here are some definitions of fermentation. They range from informal, general usages to more scientific definitions. Fermentation is a process which does not necessarily have to be carried out in an anaerobic environment. For example, even in the presence of abundant oxygen, Yeast cells greatly prefer fermentation to aerobic respiration, as long as sugars are readily available for consumption. The antibiotic activity of hops also inhibits aerobic metabolism in yeast. Fermentation reacts NADH with an endogenous, organic electron acceptor. Usually this is pyruvate formed from the sugar during the glycolysis step. During fermentation, pyruvate is metabolized to various compounds through several processes. Sugars are the most common substrate of fermentation, and typical examples of fermentation products are ethanol, lactic acid, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen gas. However, more exotic compounds can be produced by fermentation, such as butyric acid and acetone. The acidity of lactic acid impedes biological processes, this can be beneficial to the fermenting organism as it drives out competitors that are unadapted to the acidity, as a result, the food will have a longer shelf life, however, beyond a certain point, the acidity starts affecting the organism that produces it, 
the high concentration of lactic acid drives the equilibrium backwards, decreasing the rate at which fermentation can occur, and slowing down growth, ethanol, into which lactic acid can be easily converted, is volatile and will readily escape, allowing the reaction to proceed easily. CO2 is also produced, but it is only weakly acidic and even more volatile than ethanol, acetic acid is acidic, and not as volatile as ethanol, however, in the presence of limited oxygen, its creation from lactic acid releases additional energy. It is a lighter molecule than lactic acid, that forms fewer hydrogen bonds with its surroundings, thus is more volatile and will also allow the reaction to move forward more quickly. If propionic acid, butyric acid, and longer monocarboxylic acids are produced, the amount of acidity produced per glucose consumed will decrease, as with ethanol, allowing faster growth. Although yeast carries out the fermentation in the production of ethanol in beers, wines, and other alcoholic drinks, this is not the only possible agent. Bacteria carry out the fermentation in the production of xanthan gum, while mammalian muscle carries out the fermentation that occurs during periods of intense exercise where oxygen supply becomes limited, resulting in the creation of lactic acid. Fermentation products contain chemical energy, but are considered waste products, since they cannot be metabolized further without the use of oxygen. Definitions The chemical equation below shows the alcoholic fermentation of glucose, whose chemical formula is C6H12O6. The reaction is catalyzed by the enzymes pyruvate decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase. Point one glucose molecule is converted into two ethanol molecules and two carbon dioxide molecules. C2H5O is the chemical formula for ethanol. Before fermentation takes place, one glucose molecule is broken down into two pyruvate molecules. This is known as glycolysis. Homolactic fermentation is the simplest type of fermentation. The pyruvate from glycolysis undergoes a simple redox reaction, forming lactic acid. It is unique because it is one of the only respiration processes to not produce a gas as a byproduct. Overall, one molecule of glucose is converted to two molecules of lactic acid, C6H12O62CH3CHOCO. It occurs in the muscles of animals when they need energy faster than the blood can supply oxygen. It also occurs in some kinds of bacteria and some fungi. It is the type of bacteria that converts lactose into lactic acid in yogurt, giving it its sour taste. These lactic acid bacteria can carry out either homolactic fermentation, where the end product is mostly lactic acid, or heterolactic fermentation, where some lactate is further metabolized and results in ethanol and carbon dioxide, acetate, or other metabolic products, e.g., C6H12O6CH3CHOCO and C2H5O and CO2. If lactose is fermented, it is first converted into glucose and galactose. C12H22O11 plus H2O2C6H12O6. Heterolactic fermentation is in a sense intermediate between lactic acid fermentation, and other types, e.g. alcoholic fermentation. The reasons to go further and convert lactic acid into anything else are. In aerobic respiration, the pyruvate produced by glycolysis is oxidized completely, generating additional ADP and NADH in the citric acid cycle and by oxidative phosphorylation. However, this can occur only in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen is toxic to organisms that are obligate anaerobes, 
and is not required by facultative anaerobic organisms. In the absence of oxygen, one of the fermentation pathways occurs in order to regenerate NAD+. Lactic acid fermentation is one of these pathways. Hydrogen gas is produced in many types of fermentation, as a way to regenerate NAD and from NADH. Electrons are transferred to ferredoxin, which in turn is oxidized by hydrogenase, producing H2. Hydrogen gas is a substrate for methanogens and sulfate reducers, which keep the concentration of hydrogen low and favor the production of such an energy-rich compound, but hydrogen gas at a fairly high concentration can nevertheless be formed, as in flatus. Examples Chemistry As an example of mixed acid fermentation, Bacteria such as Clostridium pasteurianum ferment glucose producing butyrate, acetate, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen gas. The reaction leading to acetate is Ethanol fermentation, Lactic acid fermentation, Aerobic respiration, Hydrogen gas production in fermentation. Methane gas production in fermentation Glucose could theoretically be converted into just CO2 and H2, but the global reaction releases little energy. Acetic acid can also undergo a dismutation reaction to produce methane and carbon dioxide. This disproportionation reaction is catalyzed by methanogen and archaea in their fermentative metabolism. One electron is transferred from the carbonyl function of the carboxylic group to the methyl group of acetic acid to respectively produce CO2 and methane gas. History of Human Use The use of fermentation, particularly for beverages, has existed since the Neolithic and has been documented dating from 7600 BCE in Jiahu, China. 5000 BCE in India, Ayurveda mentions many medicated wines, 6000 BCE in Georgia, 3150 BCE in ancient Egypt, 3000 BCE in Babylon, 2000 BCE in pre-Hispanic Mexico, and 1500 BC in Sudan. Fermented foods have a religious significance in Judaism and Christianity. The Baltic god Rugutus was worshipped as the agent of fermentation. The first solid evidence of the living nature of yeast appeared between 1837 and 1838 when three publications appeared by C. Canyard de la Tour, T. Swan, and F. Ketzing, each of whom independently concluded as a result of microscopic investigations that yeast is a living organism that reproduces by budding. It is perhaps because wine, beer, and bread were each basic foods in Europe that most of the early studies on fermentation were done on yeasts, with which they were made. Soon, bacteria were also discovered, the term was first used in English in the late 1840s, but it did not come into general use until the 1870s, and then largely in connection with the new germ theory of disease. Louis Pasteur, during the 1850s and 1860s, showed that fermentation is initiated by living organisms in a series of investigations. In 1857, Pasteur showed that lactic acid fermentation is caused by living organisms. In 1860, he demonstrated that bacteria cause souring in milk, a process formerly thought to be merely a chemical change, and his work in identifying the role of microorganisms in food spoilage led to the process of pasteurization. In 1877, Working to improve the French brewing industry, Pasteur published his famous paper on fermentation, Etudes sur la bière, 
which was translated into English in 1879 as Studies on Fermentation. He defined fermentation as life without air, but correctly showed that specific types of microorganisms cause specific types of fermentations and specific end products. Although showing fermentation to be the result of the action of living microorganisms was a breakthrough, it did not explain the basic nature of the fermentation process, or prove that it is caused by the microorganisms that appear to be always present. Many scientists, including Pasteur, had unsuccessfully attempted to extract the fermentation enzyme from yeast. Success came in 1897 when the German chemist Eduard Buchner ground up yeast, extracted a juice from them, then found to his amazement that this dead liquid would ferment a sugar solution, forming carbon dioxide and alcohol much like living yeasts. Buchner's results are considered to mark the birth of biochemistry. The unorganized ferments behaved just like the organized ones. From that time on, the term enzyme came to be applied to all ferments. It was then understood that fermentation is caused by enzymes that are produced by microorganisms. In 1907, Buchner won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work. Advances in microbiology and fermentation technology have continued steadily up until the present. For example, in the 1930s, it was discovered that microorganisms could be mutated with physical and chemical treatments to be higher yielding, faster growing, tolerant of less oxygen, and able to use a more concentrated medium. Strain selection and hybridization developed as well affecting most modern food fermentations. The word ferment is derived from the Latin verb fervora, which means to boil. It is thought to have been first used in the late 14th century in alchemy, but only in a broad sense. It was not used in the modern scientific sense until around 1600. Etymology